Kein? Nein. Kein? Nein. Nein? Nein. No fracture. No fracture. Hallelujah. My scaphoid wasn't broken, so I could still ride. That's if I qualified. Meanwhile, back at the mountain, the madness continued with a freestyle motocross show. Sunday morning, Erzberg Rodeo, and you'll notice I'm not in my riding gear. That's because I did improve my times, but not enough. I came in 618th out of the field. You've got to make it in the top 500 to make the cut. Close, but no cigar. I'd have to sit it out and watch as the 500 qualifiers attempted this monster of a course. I was gutted. After a long, tense wait at the bottom of the mine, the race began. The riders set off in groups of 50, with the fastest going first. And as they came up to the slope that had given me so much trouble the day before, they all made it look very simple. As they came past, it was local hero Werner Muller leading the way from David Knight. But the fun was only just beginning. As the lesser riders hit the slopes, all hell broke loose. This is utter insanity. It is just incredible to watch the number of bikes that are now getting clogged up on those hills over there. There's a part of me that wants to be out there, but there's another part that's very glad I'm not. Further into the course, it was the same old story. As if you thought it couldn't get any worse after that last hill. You can just feel their pain as they get near the top and don't make it. Or the elation as they make it over the top, either with or without their bike. The terrain just got tougher and tougher. It's hard enough to walk over rocks like these, let alone ride a bike over them. It's not often you see a biking legend like Travis Pastrana being brought to his knees. Oh, Travis, how are you? Oh, very bad. Very, very bad. But he was doing better than this chap. Happily, he made it home in one piece. Meanwhile, at the head of the race, Travis Pastrana took the lead. But it wasn't long before David Knight, the big man from the Isle of Man, was in command. <laughs> Hell yeah! This is fun. That's one word for it, but torture might be more accurate. Watch one poor rider struggle to make it up the last few metres of this hill. He's stuck. Can't go up or down. And every rider who makes it up then showers him in mud and rocks. He even tries to get another victim to help him out. And finally, the marshals take pity on him and pull him up. The final twist in the tail was almost sadistic. Having struggled over ridiculous terrain in miserable weather, the riders then had to negotiate three dump truck tyres before they could claim to have finished the event. But David Knight took it all in his considerable stride and came home in a remarkable time of one hour, 17 minutes and 33 seconds. He even got a bar of chocolate for his efforts. It would be almost nine minutes before the next rider finished. Austrian Andreas Lettenbickler was runner-up, and Cyril Dupre was third. I've just been out there, that looked horrific. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. How did you ride a motorbike through that? It was a hell of a lot easier than last year. Really? Yeah, unbelievably easy much easier. 
the rocks were definitely easier than last year. They flattened down a bit, so I just took my time. I had a big lead, so took your time. No, I just tried to. <laughs> How long did it take you to get round? Uh, about an hour and ten, I think. Hour and ten to get round. There are still people on some of those early hills now. Yeah, for sure. Travis Pastrana made it home in 11th place, almost an hour slower than the winner, but all he cared about was beating Jeremy McGrath. You're such a bad <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy because he's such a bad <laughs> But I beat the king! I beat McGrath! Where is he? I don't know! I owe some dude a whole bunch of beer. I was off camera, hit the tree down the hill, and it's just, I'm like, oh, I'm done. Whole bunch of just redneck guys, woo, out of the woods, drunk. I'm like, yeah, pulled it out. I, they're like, you want a drink? I thought it was water, swig of whiskey or something. <laughs> so I almost threw up. It was bad. Back out on the course, they were still struggling up the hills. Jeremy McGrath finished 29th, and he was one of just 39 who completed the event. He's your last man through. Claxon's gone. Erzberg Rodeo is over. The most arduous bonkers, ridiculous motorcycle race I have ever seen. All they got to do now is go and pick the bodies up that are left in the hills.